Good morning. Welcome to the local news for today, Wednesday, September 11, 2019. I'm Dakota Simpson Marshall. In the news, shortage of coins. More villages interested in training on sustainable development plan for forest management. Oldest Hospital in Sidinama celebrated its 340th anniversary. And Suicide Prevention Congress will be held in October. Consumers have long been confronted with signs in stores that refer to a shortage of coins. Raymond Hasnu, the president of the Association of Retailers in Suriname, indicates that he doesn't know whether there is a shortage or a scarcity. According to him, this is not a recent problem. STVS News also spoke with a few retailers. They indicated that they had only recently been confronted with this issue. More villages in Sudinama are interested in the training on sustainable development plan for forest management and forest control. The Forest Management and Forest Inspection Foundation, SBB, is working to implement this project nationwide. On Monday, SBB started the two-day workshop where 20 villages participated. Now it appears that there is more interest from other villages and residential areas. The training that was completed yesterday will not be the end of this project. It is the intention to launch this sustainable forest management and for sustainable monitoring project nationwide. The awareness must remain optimal. Cedo Seedorf acted as a contact between the different villages and he noticed that success can be achieved with his training in the field of productivity for the village communities. The project is funded by the Food Agriculture Organization, FAO. The ministries that have also worked on the success of this project are the Ministry of Regional Development and the Ministry of Spatial Planning, Land and Forest Management. The oldest hospital in Sudinama celebrated its 340th anniversary yesterday. The Slans Hospital has been providing medical care to the society for more than three centuries. Sunita Nanan Pandey, medical director of Slans Hospital, talked about its development. The intention is to have the different departments within Slans renovated. However, much more funding is needed to complete the remaining projects at the oldest hospital. With the Power to Make a Difference project, the Republic Bank helped with the renovation of parts of the hospital. Sudinama is currently preparing for an International Suicide Prevention Congress to be held in October. Worldwide, someone puts an end to his or her life every 40 seconds. Annually, around 130,000 people are being treated to get rid of suicidal thoughts. According to Raj Jadnanan Singh, General Manager of the Psychiatric Center Sidinama, PCS, there is still a lot to be done in the field of information. A considerable group of people visit the PCS looking for help. The center deals mostly with people who are in relationship conflicts and those who have tried to commit suicide before. Humphrey Narden of the Suriname Police Force, KPS, indicates that people report to the police with cases of persons with suicidal thoughts. The case is then transferred to the competent authorities. From the KPS, there is a structured policy regarding disclosure or passing on suicide cases. On World Suicide Prevention Day yesterday, Humphrey Narden and Raj Jadanan Singh stated that they hope that in the future, society will better address the issue of suicide prevention. 
That brings us to the end of local news for today. Join us again tomorrow for more. Have a blessed day.